feel excited to move on and not let art and music dictate my life anymore. It used to dictate my emotions and my relationships with others and in the worst of moments, the relationship I had with myself. I think if you removed music from my life when I started these songs, I wouldn't have known who I was. But I'm not that person anymore. And that's what this project is about. My EP's about emotions. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's about me being a sad fucking person. And overcoming that. Seeing these songs develop over the years and come to life over the last year especially, working with Jace and with Seeking Blue has been incredibly special. Emotionally painful in certain moments, especially revisiting and placing myself back in the emotional state I was in when I was first writing these songs. But it's taught me that it takes a team and it takes people that care about you and love you and support you to realize an idea. Then, like, just, practically speaking, a lot of people would argue what, like, what are, what's so important about emotions? Mm. But then I think people, sometimes a lot of people, even in the States, take it for granted, right? Mm -hmm. They want it to always something physical, something more obvious, something more literal. Yeah. And then we don't take the value of something vague and ambiguous and not certain. That makes you think and that makes you yeah, feel a certain yeah, type yeah. of way. Yeah. Uh, my work is very emotional and then mm -hmm. it was inspired by mostly emotion. It can be mine, it can be someone else's. But uh, you know how I listen to music, it, it speaks to me in a way that a lot of things are coming to me emotionally. And then my work without even music, that's what I've been doing. So my procedure, part of it is always uh, how do I personify this, this emotion that I interact with. And then when you listen to music, it becomes more tangible and, you know, more sincere. And it's easier for me to actually, you know, sort of interpret that music into my own, right? So that was a really important part of it. Yeah, so when I listen to Louis's Louis, Louis music that I somehow wanted to personify a certain emotion that I, that I got to feel. Uh, and then being able to paint that without, uh, you know, uh, knowing too much of a, of a physical, you know, part of it, and also bringing something to do with because I have to add Louis's portraiture in it, mm -hmm. right? That was like a mandatory sort of part of it because it has to be representation of him. Without it, it's still the still the way it is. That's fine, but it, yeah. So somehow I need to use the abstract value of emotions plus Louis's, uh, you know portraiture but it shouldn't be just the photo the first this is the idea this is the calm cloudy idea for the art painting meeting jace for the very first time at the seeking blue office and kind of talking about calm and calamity and the theme of dichotomy and the idea of beauty and chaos existing in the same world together and then actually hearing about his process and made it feel very faded that we were meant to work together and it was apparent that this project and the way we were going to collaborate meant as much to me as it did to him which I found really special and over the course working together I can honestly say it's been one of the most creatively fulfilling and inspiring parts of this entire project and probably my whole life. Hallweg is ultimately the representation of change that I go through as a person as I continue to grow and experience life. However intense or chaotic that change may be, and it's my outlet to convey those moments. It's my only genuine form of communication that allows me to process and let go of things in life. I think that Calm and Calamity is my first honest look at myself and how I've used music in the past to hide my emotions and shelter my heart 
It's always been a way for me to avoid confronting how I feel and the weaker parts of myself. Ultimately, this project is a way for me to have that honest conversation and move forward. After having gone through those moments where I felt lost and really wasn't a happy person, in an effort to change and learn more about who I am.